Ford shares are trading lower this morning. This comes after the automakers' big miss when it comes to earnings. Let, let's start first off with, with the EV business. You lost 2.1 million billion, I should say. Ford has been a dominant player in the automotive industry for over a hundred years, but they're currently experiencing a Kodak moment. Recognizing they need to become an EV manufacturer, they're abandoning their roots to join the Elon Musk EV revolution. But it takes work to totally change what a hundred-year-old company with 170,000 employees sells in over 200 countries. Earlier this year, the company announced that it lost $2.1 billion in 2022 on an operating basis, and now there's even more bad news for Ford. Join us as we explain exactly why the Ford CEO is revealing huge EV losses for the first time and why no other CEO will ever do this. Before we go into detail, it's important to know that CEIs do not like to break bad news, ever. One of their primary responsibilities is to make money for the company's shareholders, and increasing stock prices is the way they do this. So if they ever have bad news to break, which will affect the stock price, it's usually masked in some way to soften the blow. If you've ever seen a CEO on CNBC, you know how they can be. But what Jim Farley has just said he'll do completely goes against the rules for a legacy automotive CEO. Investors have been eagerly awaiting news from Ford Motor on the cost of transitioning to electric vehicles, and now the company has revealed all. In an exciting move, Ford has revealed its financial results by business unit first, the first time any automaker has done this. By doing this, investors can open up the hood for the first time to understand the mechanics of an EV transition for a legacy automaker. Ford boldly announced that it will lose $3 billion on its consumer electric vehicle sales this year. Despite this substantial loss, the carmaker still expects to reach its previously set profit targets for the year, which range between $9 billion and $11 billion. These losses don't account for expenses from taxes and interest, and are almost equivalent to the losses from the previous two years combined. In 2021, Ford lost approximately $900 million on EVs, while in 2022 it lost $2.1 billion. This is the first time that the automaker is making a move to break out the results from its EV operations. Despite the massive losses, Ford is confident that EVs will become profitable. It projects that its operating margin loss for EVs will decrease from negative 40% last year when it sold about 96,000 EVs and made $5.3 billion in revenue, to a target 8% profit by the end of 2026. The automaker claims to achieve this by increasing its EV production to a global annual rate of 2 million vehicles by the end of that year. It's amazing that even with the strides being made in increasing EV output and manufacturing scale, no other company aside from Tesla and BYD is expected to generate significant profits from electric vehicles in the near future. This is especially true for mass market models, like those produced by Ford, which typically generate lower profit margins compared to luxury vehicles. While Ford's ambitious profit margin goals for its EV business are commendable, it's worth noting it's still nothing compared to Tesla, the industry leader in the EV market. Tesla reported a whopping 22% profit margin in the fourth quarter, putting it leagues ahead of Ford and other legacy automakers struggling to profit in the electric vehicle segment. This underscores the significant challenges that traditional automakers face as they pivot to an EV-focused business model. Ford's success in this arena will largely depend on its ability to close the gap with Tesla's profitability, while also navigating supply chain issues and other market challenges that have plagued the auto industry in recent years. But Ford would now have us believe it's getting closer to competing with Tesla. During an investor conference call, Ford's CFO John Lawler expressed confidence in the company's ability to hit its EV profit goals, referring to many new ex-Tesla recruits. The Ford recruiting team has been on a mission to get as many ex-Tesla employees as possible and believes that if they have a team of engineers who designed those vehicles, they'll do it again at Ford. According to Lawler, Ford has a whole new approach to designing vehicles that's very much focused on energy efficiency, and they have the people at Ford who know how to do that. Ford cut the price of one of its EVs, the Mustang Mach-E, earlier this year when it raised production of those vehicles, and Tesla has also slashed the price of its lower-priced models in various markets around the world. However, the company soon realized that this undertaking would not be as simple as it had hoped. 
During an earnings call, CEO Jim Farley revealed that the production of the Mach-E and the F-150 Lightning EV pickup had encountered several unexpected problems, causing costs to skyrocket. For instance, they accidentally added cost and weight to the car by adding a wiring harness that was 1.6 kilometers longer than it needed to be. We didn't know it's 70 pounds heavier and that that costs another $300 a battery, said the CEO on an earnings call. Additionally, Ford had underinvested in braking technology to save on the size of the battery, leading to further complications. Farley said these and other cost problems meant that Ford left about $2 billion of profit on the table in 2022. Dubbed Ford Refounded, the new reporting structure will be introduced with a teach-in session for media and analysts alike. This momentous event will not only shed light on the electric vehicle transition, but also offer revised versions of its financial results that will showcase how the new business units would have performed in 2021 and 2022. It's a groundbreaking move that's sure to keep investors on the edge of their seats. Ford is shaking up its business structure to gear up for the future of transportation, and the automaker is making some big moves to stay ahead of the curve. Ford has created five new business units, each with a specific focus on innovation and growth. These units include Ford Blue for traditional combustion engines, the Model E electric vehicle unit, Ford Pro for commercial and government fleets, Ford Next for future tech and non-automotive mobility solutions, and the Ford Credit financial services subsidiary. Ford is also set to release profits and losses, revenue, margins, and earnings before interest and taxes, EBIT, for each of the business units. This will give investors and analysts a detailed look at the financials behind the EV business, allowing a baseline for comparison as the company's transformation unfolds. Under the leadership of CEO Jim Farley, Ford has made significant changes to its business structure to adapt to the evolving transportation landscape. Last year, the automaker made the bold decision to separate its primary profit engines, namely internal combustion vehicles and its commercial fleet business, from the company's emerging all-electric vehicles. This decision was made with the understanding that the electric vehicles are not expected to be profitable for at least a few years. But this isn't just about disclosing financial information. The new business structure reflects the way Ford's executive team thinks and operates. As Farley noted when announcing the new business units on March 2, 2022, the changes are significant. It's not the first time Ford Motor Company has had to reimagine its future or form its own path that's different from other companies. Is this about winning? 100%. Wall Street is playing a game of wait and see when it comes to Ford's restructuring efforts. While analysts have given the stock a hold rating with a price target of 1350, the shares are currently trading at around 1170 per share according to ratings compiled by FactSet. When Ford's executives announced the new business units, the stock surged by 8.4%. However, the company's stock has since plummeted by 35% due to market fluctuations, supply chain issues, and lackluster quarterly earnings. Despite the stock's rocky performance, Ford remains optimistic about its future. The automaker is set to report its first quarter results under the new business structure on May 2nd and will host a capital markets day on May 22nd. Amid the challenges of ramping up production for its EVs, Ford has received some positive news in the form of financial projections. Deutsche Bank, a leading financial institution, estimated that Ford's traditional business, Ford Blue, could show an impressive EBIT margin of 7.3% for 2022. This figure is expected to more than offset the losses incurred by the company's EV operations in the previous year. The positive outlook has been echoed by Morgan Stanley's Adam Jonas, who believes that Ford's ICE business is currently generating ample cash flow to fund the more capital-intensive EV business. But the most critical question is, how long can Ford keep this up? What do you think about this news? Let us know down in the comments section.